Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. We went from Lima, Cusco, and now we're here at Machu Picchu after a long bus and train ride. So this is our room. We made it to our hotel room. We have a huge bed for the two of us. Nice leather seat, nice bed, I would say. Now when we come here, this is our view. You know, you got the green mountains. You got some of these houses and you got a soccer field, it looks like. Um, the views, it's not bad. I thought it would be worse. Then you come here, you have your own little mini fridge, whatever you want to put in here. You got a good size TV if you want to watch anything. Then if you come over here, this is the good spot. This is the this is where that lights camera action begins. Let me take it over here. You got a nice two-seater bed. Excuse me for that. But you got a nice two-seater bed, and it's gonna be fun in a while. You got a nice sink, you got a nice very sink. Then you come over here, you got your toilet, small pretty, small toilet, not too bad, not too bad. And you got a pretty good sized shower, you know. This come with shampoo, conditioner, all that good stuff from the ceiling. And last but not least, it comes with instructions if you don't know how to use any of these items here. So that's our room for Matsu Picchu. And if you bring your watch, your money, you open this up, you got your closet with your safe. We put our backpacks, your coats, towels, extra towels right there. And you got more towels there just in case. So it comes really good. It comes with a lot of uh, utilities. I do recommend this while it's not bad. So see you guys later. All right. We just got out of our hotel. We're gonna go get something to eat. Gotta go buy the bus ticket for tomorrow to go up the mountain to Machu Picchu and uh, get a couple drinks since I haven't had a beer this whole time. And I am desperate for some beer. I ain't no alcohol, but you always gotta have alcohol to kill the virus inside you. <laughs> Check this out. The local shops here at Matsu Picchu. A lot of items. A lot of items you can buy. A lot of souvenirs. Since we're backpacking, we can't buy any souvenirs, but we'll definitely come some other. All right, guys, so we're at here at a pizzeria. Well, a cat just went inside the restaurant. God damn. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, pizza review time. We have the family pizza, which in America is probably like a medium pizza. This is the large pizza, according to them. Um, it has mushrooms, ham, uh, bacon, sausage. It has all the good stuff. We took the olives out because we're not an olive person, so here it goes. Cream. Nice, nice little brownish touch, but it's a lot of wobbly. Not good. One bite, everybody knows the rules. The oregano gives it a good flavor. One out of ten, it's a 7.2. 7.2 for this. Let me see the crust. Crust is good. And they use that oven. It's a pretty good oven. Nice style. That's my pizza review. All right, we have here my girlfriend Steph. Her first bite. Let's see, see if she likes it. One out of ten. What do you give it? Five. Five. Half. Oh, not that good, huh? Guess my score was a little too high. Good job, though. So right now we're getting ready while well, I'm ready. Miss right here <laughs> is getting ready. Being, doing her makeup for like the past 20, 40, 50, 60 minutes. 
and I'm out here just waiting. It's cold, it was raining, since we know we're like in the jungle. I don't know how you call it, selva, I guess, but uh, it was pouring. I hopefully it doesn't pour when we go to Machu Picchu site with you know the mount, the big mountain and stuff. So hopefully that doesn't happen. We should. The weather looks good, so we might make it. So uh, yeah, we're getting ready to go eat. Then we're gonna go um, shopping for uh, some souvenirs probably, or see what else we could buy or kill time in. All right. Alrighty, guys. Right now it's 5 a.m. in the morning. Super tired, we only got three hours of sleep. We just got ready so we can go to the bus station and head over to Matu. Pichu, we're ready, even though we're sleepy. Let's do it. We got a water. We got some fruit juice, box, and then we got ourselves a little sandwich bread. And I think. <laughs> I think it's super early in the morning. A banana, Ooh. healthy. Comes everything in the in the hotel, all, in, all included, to go breakfast. Finally made it to Machu Picchu. It's raining. Our tour guide. Hopefully it stops raining. But I think we should be good for today. <laughs> it's early in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Uh, este es lo más difícil del tour. Okay. 10 o 15 minutos. Yeah. Yeah. 10 or 15 minutes to walk up these stairs to get to the good side. Slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly. It takes only 10 or 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes, he says. To just walk up these stairs. Let's do it. Let's do it. Se puede. <laughs> this is the Inca way this is all handmade by the incas way back then all made out of rocks absolutely gorgeous handmade with no machinery just bare hands gotta give them respect jesus christ It'll clear up soon. You can see some llamas. It's pretty cloudy, but it's awesome. <laughs> so right now we're at the mountain because of the fog you can't really see it but it's really, really big, spectacular, and there's a lot of like small little houses down there. Nice 
Nice watch, nice mountain. It's amazing. Um, by parts, like the fog clears up, you could see it, and then it covers it up again. But it's amazing how Mother Nature works. You know, if it rains hard, the fog disappears. If it doesn't rain hard in the morning, then the fog will stay here for hours and hours until it clears up. All right, so right now we're here at that building. You can see that's the like the security. The security guard used to be there and watch the whole city to see whoever came, like an army or whoever tried to uh, invade their property. The security would alert everybody, so they could do that. You could see the whole mountain, but they took COVID and they blocked it off. But that's where the security used to be at. So all this whole video you see, the clips, the architecture, everything you see, approximately took them 136 years to make. And uh, if you think about it, it's a little bit of time because it was handmade, no machinery, no technology. It was just mankind, absolutely amazing. So approximately like 3,000 workers every day, Monday through Sunday, would work on this. And it's absolutely down there. People would have to. People would. The people that would work came from the bottom. They 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 live from the bottom at the bottom, and they would have to come all the way up to come work. Their houses were at the bottom. Like, so. As you can see right now, now that the fog cleared up a little bit, they had to build retaining walls so it could help support and not go, not fall down and like be a disaster. So the retaining walls, they had to start first and then come up, work themselves up to the mountain so it could be in good shape for many years. So right now we're walking. Everything has been awesome, awesome experience. We're not tired yet, mm -hmm. but it's not that bad. The altitude is not that bad, and it's amazing. I feel like these guys are way smarter than the, they are smarter than those. We're just, this generation is just stupid. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so what we're seeing right now is 80, exactly 80 dwellings. It's absolutely the architecture and how they build it. It's so awesome from here. The grass is super green. Obviously, since it rains a lot, keeps it maintained. It's just absolutely amazing. There's only one main entrance to get to the king's room. You could say. Okay, so I observe the warmth of the Machu Picchu place. So this is clay, not rocks anymore. Ahora, por esta puerta, cada día ingresaban caravanas de llamas. Llamas would come through here. A lot of llamas would come through here. And, yeah. The llamas, the llamas would discharge the potatoes here. Okay. Colcas. Oh, and the llamas pens, the llama housing would be up here. That's where they would get locked in. 
por eso la arquitectura todavía es rústica, no es fina. Yeah. ¿Eh? Estos depósitos eran de dos pisos. Mira. Aquí está la división para el segundo piso. Yeah. El segundo Two piso floors. era de madera, cedro. 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 Wow. Y el primer piso, mire, con mucha ventilación, ventanas yeah. muy grandes, para que se mantenga en buen estado los productos que van a conservar. So, a lot of big, huge windows, so the product could stay maintained. This is amazing. Yeah, everything well architected. And these guys didn't have no technology, nothing. All I took was their brain and their smartness to create this. There's a sample of the Inca drainage. This is the Inca drainage. Make a hole. And then we'll come down here and the water will go all the way down. This is the drainage. Wow. Works 100%. Works 100%. Especially in the rainy season. In the rain season, still works. Yeah, it's draining the, wow. the water. Wow. Eh? <laughs> Until today, it still works. I mean, these guys were unbelievable. These guys weren't humans. These guys were born to do this. They were born to be smart. And obviously, they're way smarter than us, for sure. I mean, Jesus Christ, this is... Everything. This is the entrance of La Tumba de Incapacachucupe. Incapacachucupe. This is the entry to the royal tomb of the Incapacachucupe. There you go. It was found only 10 years ago. 10 years ago? Yeah. Oh, wow. By the French, eh? By the French archaeologist. Amazing. Okay. And today you can see offerings. Mm -hmm that people that still practice Inca religion uh, are facing here, especially to Pachamama. Pachamama. Coca leaves, coins, sometimes, eh? drinks. So like people leave their little beer. To show dinner. respect, <laughs> they leave the island. Nice. Now that the fog is out, thanks to Machu Picchu mother land, it is absolutely green. The sun is is out it's clear you can see everything nice mountain just absolutely amazing the entrance the above temple of soul this way follow it Twenty third June, twenty first December. Oh. Seven o'clock p.m. Yeah. Six thirty a.m. Wow. Yeah. So it was, huh? It was a solar solar observatory. Yeah. So right now we're in the higher class, then you have the middle class, then you have the poor class. So the more we go down is the more poor class. So right now we're in the high class where the king was and it's amazing. That's where the... That's why you can see the finest stone walls here. Yeah, you'll see the finest stone walls here. Well put together. The more you go down, the more poor quality you can say it is. The first one is that one. Okay. That is classic. We call to this one imperial. imperial. But to this one, huh? rustic. This is the easiest one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because here stones look very well, are not carved or polished. Mm -hmm. But down here is totally different. Yeah. Yeah. Especially this building. Yeah. Look at the Inca wall, it's very smooth. Right? It's the most beautiful Inca building in the city. Today we call uh, this building the Temple of the Sun. Sun Temple. Yeah.
Yanante or Black Mountain. You know, this, this, this is a replica. Yeah. Yeah, they carve it. Nice. It's too much coincidence to be a natural rock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Incas were smart people. Huh? Yeah. So this rock is that rock over there? And the corner rock is that one over there. How amazing is that? That's absolutely amazing how they could do that. And hand carved, hand everything. Positive energy yeah. rock it's right Kechone, there. It's Kechone in Tihuatan. In Tihuatan. According to Mr. Hiram Bingham, it was another solar observatory. Sorry. Probably observing the projection of shadows around the rock in the school marked the whole season. The whole season. But you know, it was only a speculation yeah. in 1911. Yeah. I told you in Peru, not happy in four seasons. It's two only seasons. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. It looks like a guinea pig. It looks like the head and the back. Zero cholesterol. The guinea pig. The rock of the guinea pig. Can you guys see it? How many dwellings in Machu Picchu? Did you remember? 86? Yeah. <laughs> 86 dwellings. And then we have right here the workshops where they used to work. Nice. So we can move. Usually, second floor, always with many windows. Many windows. To get ventilation. Ventilation. So because, they would use a lot of windows. Because second floor was in storage. Okay. And how many set of stairs are there here? 320. 320 no. stairs of made out in of each, rocks. In each dwelling, you have to four come people. Through. A small family. Small Father, family. mother, two children. That's it. That's it. Multi, multi uso, eh? Sala, cocina, comedor, dormitorio. Wow. <laughs> the small place la is cama, a living room, kitchen, kitchen, and a bedroom. All in one, super small. And sometimes a workshop. Eh? And sometimes a workshop. Ah, la <laughs> cocina, know. la cocina estaba muy cerca de la puerta, para que el humo pudiera salir. Uh, okay, so the kitchen would be next to the door, so the smoke would come out when they would cook. <laughs> Sixteen fountains up yes. there. Wow. Sixteen fountains, two fountains are natural water that you can drink. Absolutely amazing. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. This was the end of Machu Picchu. Uh, hopefully you guys liked this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Right now we're in the exit. That's in the Vista Machu Picchu. All right, guys. We just made it back to the hotel room from Machu Picchu. Long journey. Woke up super early. I am tired. I hurt my knee. It hurts. 
but it was all worth it. Um, I totally recommend the tour guide that we took. We will leave all his information down in the description below. Such an awesome, nice dude. One of the best ones I've had in all the countries I visited to explore. He knows his history. He knows how to explain whether you want it in English or Spanish. He knows both languages. Absolutely amazing guy. And it comes with this right here for 12, uh, for 90 soldiers, which I'm not sure in US dollars. So I'll leave in the description. He prints out pictures. He'll take pictures of you. And it's really awesome. Look at like all these, all these right here. So I totally recommend it. Much love, much respect to the tour guy. Shout out to them. Me and my lovely fiance now. We're out.